All right, guys, so we're gonna be making Jello with fruit cocktail in it. It's very simple, but it's fun to make and it's really fun to eat. So let me show you what you're gonna need to make that. Okay, first of all, what you're gonna need is a box of Jello. Now, Jello comes in two sizes. The size that I want you to get, it will say three ounces. Okay, this is the smaller size of a Jello box. It's three ounce size, or I think the other size is five or six ounces or bigger. You want the three ounce size, the smaller box. And you can have any flavor you want. I have cherry and I have lime here, and I'm gonna use the lime today. You only need one box. Okay, the other thing you're gonna need is <clears throat> a can of fruit cocktail. So this has peaches and pears and grapes and cherries in it to add some fruit to the jello. You're also going to need ingredient wise, you're gonna need some water and we'll get to that when I start making it. You're going to need equipment wise, you're gonna need some glass measuring cups like this. It helps to have a colander to drain the fruit. And then to put the finished jello, I like to put the finished jello in something um, that's glass because the jello looks pretty there when you can see all the way through to the bottom. So you could use a bowl, you could use a square bowl. I'm going to be using these nice pretty um, dessert cups for a nice presentation. All right, so when I come back, I'm going to show you how to make your jello with fruit. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna need is one cup of boiling water. So you're gonna take a measuring cup like this, get a nice big one. This is a two cup measuring cup. You're only gonna fill it to one cup. See where it says one cup, that's what we're gonna fill it to. So let's watch as it fills up. So one cup. And I'm gonna take a look at that on my end. Good, that looks like one cup of water. It's real important that you get one cup of water. And to boil it, I'm gonna put it into the microwave. And I think for my microwave, it's gonna take maybe three minutes, two or three minutes to boil this water. So I'm gonna get this started, and when we come back, I'll, uh, I'll have the water and it will be boiling. Okay, okay, so I have the Jello, the bag of Jello out of the box. I'm going to take a good size bowl and I'm going to put all of the jello powder in there, all of it, okay? And then I'm going to add the boiling water that I had in the microwave. Now how do you know when water is boiling? Well, when it came out of the microwave, there were bubbles in it and there's lots of steam and I can hold my hand over there and really feel it. It's very, very hot. It's got to be boiling water. And I'm going to take my cup of boiling water and I'm going to, good, I'm going to add it to the dry jello. And with a spoon, that smells really good. With a spoon, I'm going to stir it. Now, I'm going to stir it for two minutes. Why? So that the sugar crystals can dissolve. So you have to go a full two minutes and I'm going to come back after I've gone two minutes. Yeah. All right. So it's been two minutes since I added the boiling water. Now what I did was I measured out one cup, same amount, but cold water. And I'm using a different measuring cup because the other measuring cup is still really hot from holding the boiling water. But this one I just uh, got and it's not hot. And I put one cup right there, one cup make sure it says one cup all right so now this is going to go over here i'm going to stir it right in with there you go okay now if you wanted to if you wanted to you could just stick the bowl into the refrigerator right now and in the morning it would be solid but I want to go a little bit fancier than that. But if you don't like fruit, don't want to add fruit, that's perfectly fine. You could just put the jello right in the fridge, just like this in the bowl, maybe cover it with plastic wrap. But 
We're gonna go, like I said, a little fancier with some fruit cocktail, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so I opened the can of the fruit cocktail. You need to drain out the water. That's important, or the syrup, whatever it's in. I like to use a colander. Just dump it out into the colander, okay? And just shake all that liquid out as much as you can, just like that. Okay, so I like fruit, so I'm gonna put some fruit into each of these little dessert cups. Let's see, I can put some more in there. Okay. You can put as much fruit as you want. It doesn't matter because it's all good. I like to have at least one little cherry in each of them because for some reason people really like the cherries, including me. So when I do that, let's see if we can use it all up here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. And now what we need to do, let's keep going, is get the jello in each of these. So as I'm looking at it, probably the best way to do this is to use just like a cup like this. We're not measuring, we're just using this as a cup to put the jello in there. Just to fill these up. Look at that. This is looking very good. This guy. There we go. I think this looks particularly good with green jello. I don't know why that is. For to me, green is a nice contrast. It would also be really pretty with red jello too. But there's something about the green jello that I just really like. Okay, I'm gonna fill these guys up to the top because I have enough jello to do that, so why not use it? There we go. All right, so we are going to put these in the refrigerator and by tomorrow they're gonna to be solid and it's, they're gonna be really fun to eat too. So we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see how they turned out. All right, so it's day two. Yesterday I made the jello with fruit and today, look what we got. There it is. Dunk. Not going anywhere. It is solid. Solid, beautiful. The fruit's at the top. Perfect. Let's give it a try now. Okay. Let me get that cherry in there. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Reminds me of when I was a kid and we'd make jello all the time. Jello is just fun because it goes into the fridge one way, comes out of the fridge different. Mmm. Really nice treat. You could even put some whipped cream on top too, make it even better. So, I hope you guys give this very easy jello recipe a try because I really think you're going to love it.